have a date with the angel. Starring Betty White. Bill Williams as Gus Angel. Presented by Limo. Star of the Forward Look. And the Plymouth Dealers of America. The time? Four months after Vicky and Gus Angel were married. The place? The racetrack. The plot? How to win money and lose friends. What's the matter? You colorblind or something, lady? I'm painting a kitchen, not a rainbow. <laughs> Shouting isn't going to get the work done, Mr. Carter. I didn't think it was asking too much to ask you to paint the molding to match my husband's tie. I have matched the stupid tie. But it's a different color when it's dry than when it's wet. The tie is dry, Mr. Carter. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll try it again. But this is the last time. Oh, oh you were absolutely right, lovey. I wouldn't trust that man to color Easter eggs. <laughs> I'm sorry about all this, Mrs. Gordon. Here you are, nice enough to come over and help, and all you've heard is bickering. All right. Hey, this came out beautifully clean, didn't it? Oh, yes, yes, the Gordon method. No soap, just beat him on a rock. <laughs> Pretty color, I think. That's a lovely job. Hello? Well, Mr. Carter isn't here at the moment. Uh, yes, I'll tell him. Bye. This goes on all day. He's forever getting messages about uh, B B Rockingham or Narragansett or Belmont. I don't even know what they're talking about. Oh, he's a horse player. That explains his nasty disposition. <laughs> all horse players are the same breed of cat. Oh, well, I know a Mr. Dunbar who isn't. Norman Dunbar, the owner? Gus is going to insure some of his horses. I met him out of his ranch, and he's as different from this Mr. Carter as you are from Whistler's m father. <laughs> Norman Dunbar won the Kentucky Derby two years ago. Of course, his horse helped. <laughs> but how do you know so much about racing? <laughs> I'm out to the track so much, I'm practically a goose girl. <laughs> As they say, I may not have much of a figure, Ooh, but you ought to see my racing form. <laughs> Don't you ever get out to the track? Well, I never have, but <laughs> as a matter of fact, Mr. Dunbar invited me to go along with Gus tomorrow, but I don't like to be in the way when they're talking business. Oh, don't be silly, go. you love it. I might see you out there. Well... I think I will. Oh, good, good. <laughs> I dare you to tell me you don't like this. Please don't dare me, Mr. Carter. Let's see the match. <laughs> Mr. Carter! Well, that does it. <laughs> what a feisty dame. Remember, young man, you are dealing the lady. Not one of your low racetrack friends. Mrs. Angel is very closely associated with Norman Dunbar. And that is class, Buster. I don't care if she's Norman Dunbar, the owner. What's more, she is sitting in Mr. Dunbar's box tomorrow. Now clean that mess off that cupboard and behave yourself. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, Lefty. Never mind that. That's peanuts. Now listen, Lefty, I got a direct pipeline to Norman Dunbar. Yeah, the owner. Here we are, Mrs. Angel. Hello there, how are you? Good to see you. I just can't get over this. The track is beautiful. Is this where we bet? If you care to bet, these are the two-dollar windows. The five, tens, fifties, and hundreds are over there. <laughs> Where are the one-dollar windows? No. Two dollars is the minimum, Mrs. Angel. Oh, I know. I was doing... No, no, no. You have the correct attitude. When people wager only what they can afford, racing is a wonderful relaxation. Oh, I'm sure it is. <laughs> How's that for pure science? <laughs> 
People like that are a menace to racism. They certainly are. Did you see the size of that hat pin? That woman should not be allowed on the track. Especially when the horses are running. Huh? <laughs> there might be a nasty accident. <laughs> oh, that's very really good. That's very, very good. It's always such a delight to introduce new people to racing. No, Mrs. Angel. On the track is just our way of saying at the track. Naturally, that woman would never be allowed anywhere near the actual race course. As you say there, there might be a nasty accident. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> now, in all seriousness, Mrs. Angel, as a novice, there are two things I must warn you against in racing. One is the professional tout, and the other is the hunch player. They are the absolute bane of racing. The bane. <laughs> Mr. Angel, come along, let me tell you something. As an owner and stockholder of racing, my object is to keep racing clean. That's what I always say, keep racing clean. Honey, you're making a wonderful impression on Mr. Dunbar. Keep it up and I'll give you a commission on my commission. <laughs> I don't know the first thing about racing. I hope I don't embarrass you. You couldn't embarrass me if you tried. Oh, Angel, here is my box, right on the finish line, as you can see. You sit down. Thank you, sir. After you, sir. Thank you. Hello, Harry. Wonderful day. <clears throat> oh, good afternoon, Mr. Dunbar. Smith. I, uh, I see you have your silly beauty queen going in the seventh. Good luck. Thank you. You're going to need it. <laughs> Three of you this afternoon, Mr. Dunbar. Obviously, Mrs. Smith. Three. Three. I think I'll bet three of them. Uh, Mrs. Angel, I want you to learn how to handicap correctly, so <clears throat> shall we consider the first race? Now. We can eliminate threesome. Five bad races in a row. Now, we circle Sturdy Citizen because he's dropping in class, but he's been fairly close in his last two outs. Now, modern world. Modern world is due for a smash. Modern world. Nerissa, well, of course, Nerissa is by now's ruler. I can circle that. Mormon's Blues does have an outside chance. Which one would you suggest? Well, I would suggest... Threesome. Oh, you think so? Uh, Morgan was my maiden name. I was wondering about Morgan's blues. Oh, what a beautiful hunch. Bet it, dear, bet it. How thoughtless of me, Mrs. Angel. I'm sure you would much prefer sitting next to your husband. Oh, no, then you two couldn't talk business. No, this is fine. My name's Vicki Angel. Oh, Josephine Smith. <laughs> Get her away from that woman. She's a hunch player. Yes, sir. <laughs> Honey, wouldn't you rather sit over here? Oh, I'm sorry. And this is my husband, Gus. Darling, this is Mrs. Smith. Mrs. Smith? How do you do? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this, our 18th day of racing. The horses are now coming onto the track Lovely for the first and... race. The sport of kings, Mrs. Angel. Well, I had no idea it was this exciting. This is my first time here, you know. Oh, is it? Well, then I must see to it that you get started right. Thank you. I was wondering about Morgan's blues. Morgan was my maiden name. <laughs> Mrs. Angel, I'm afraid we don't consider that in handicapping a horse. But bet it if you like. It does have an outside chance. I think I'll lay off this race, Angel. I don't know. He's the only one wearing those eye shades. <laughs> uh, blinkers, sweetheart. Oh, uh, blinkers, blinkers, blinkers. There is no horse named Blinkers, Mrs. Smith. Uh, sweetheart, Mr. Dunbar is laying off this race. He thinks the four horses figure too close together. <laughs> but he said Morgan Blues has a chance. All right, honey. All right, All right. honey. Oh, honey, honey, honey. Oh, oh, here it is. Here it is. Beeswax number 10. Come on, Mrs. Angel. Come on. Oh, excuse me. Oh, can I bring you some hot dogs or peanuts or... No, 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 thank you. I'll take some hot Where is she? Where is she? Go there. That's where we go. Come on. That little one is the nastiest tout on this or any other track. He sure looks it, sir. Now, you take the Smith woman. I didn't introduce you on purpose because, oh, she's a nice enough lady. Let me put that another way. I detest her. 
I just didn't want Mrs. Angel to start using her ridiculous system. System? <laughs> On second thought, I doubt if she can contaminate a sensible woman like your wife. <laughs> Let's just make sure, sir. Ah, that's a very good idea. The horses will reach the gate in five minutes. This way, dear. Now, this looks like a nice short lie. You go first, so I see how you do it. Oh, well, you, you just ask the numbers of the horses you want to bet. That's all. When we first got here, there was a lady picking horses with a hat pin. <laughs> Well, some people are simply ridiculous. <laughs> oh. Mr. Dunbar thought so, too. I hope he's right about my horse. Oh, you have a sure thing. Uh, six, two, eight, and four. That's known as covering your bed. Thank you. Morgan Blue. Uh, uh, number six. Well, we have our tickets. What do we do with it? Well, when the race is over, dear, you just throw them away. <laughs> what? Morgan Blues. I can't bet that horse in this race. Ah. Number six. Three times. Look, honey, I got my tickets. Isn't it a pretty color? It's swell. <laughs> Oh, may I sit next to Mrs. Smith? Uh, honey, oh, why don't you yes, sit boys. Here. Get over, get over, boys. Oh, I hate to disturb you. <laughs> Mrs. Smith can't lose. She she bet on six, two, eight, and four. It's what is known as covering your bet. That's what is known as smothering your bet. The horses are all in the gate. The flag is up. They're off and running. If threesome breaking on top. Modern World, second to half. Nerissa, a half the length. Billy B, a length and a half. Pamela L. Where's my horse? Boy, and there. The Red Silks, number six. <laughs> and Morgan Blue. So excited, sir. <laughs> to you why Bridal Veil doesn't stand a chance against Sunlit King. You see, Sunlit King is by Bull E. out of Mamadina by Mamoud. The second dam is an imported stakes-winning Khaled, so the bottom line combined with Herod and Yerko directly back to the Valley B. Turk and the Godolphin Bark. While Bull E., you see, is out of Bulldog, thus tracing directly back through Teddy, directly back to the Darley Arabian. So, you see, I would never in the world bet on Bridal Veil. No, the horse to bet is Sunlit King. Would you be offended if I bet on Bridal Veil? Uh, sweetheart, Mr. Dunbar just pointed out why Bridal Veil hasn't a chance. And besides, Hunch, No, never... go right ahead, my dear. You bet on Bridal Veil. <laughs> we won't join you because the only chance your husband and I have to talk business is between races. Oh, Mrs. Angel, I've decided to bet on colors. <laughs> Dunbar, sorry. Don't mean to kill you. You sure you don't want any peanuts? Thank you, no. Come on, dear. Oh, yeah. You know, the, the, the best way for... Come on, I'm I told you fellas, you spent the three, you'll make millions. Yes, I mean, you can throw away the paintbrushes. Paintbrushes! Come on. 
Now, the only way Mrs. Angel will ever learn not to bend hunches is to let her lose. <laughs> and I know Vicky. The minute she has to part with two dollars, she'll quit racing forever. <laughs> Bridal veil. <laughs> in this race, honey. Oh, I'm sorry, Huddy do. He'll be along presently. <laughs> What's next? What's oh, next? Oh, let's not think this time. Let's just pick something that jumps out of it. Oh, good. Ah, uh, that's out of commission. That's good enough for me. Come on, let's go. Pardon me, Mr. Dunbar. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I always interrupt. Come on, Vicky. What? Honey, why don't you sit this one out, huh? Oh, honey, Mr. Dunbar just said the only time you can talk business is between races. I know I'm doing you more good this way. We'll be late. <laughs> Dunbar's unhappy about you winning all those races. Not because you're winning, but the way you're winning. He hates hunch players like Mr. Smith. He can't stand tout. And you saw the way he reacted to the woman with a hat pin? In other words, sweetheart, he's very conventional about horse racing. Well, Gus, I had no idea. Gee, I was having so much fun. I, I guess I didn't know this. I'm glad you told me. Uh, what horse did you bet on? Number nine. But don't worry. If number nine wins, I had number five. Good, good. You mean you... There you see, Mrs. Angel. Sooner or later, the unscientific approach catches up with you. It <laughs> wasn't as if you didn't want it, sir. Yes, well, don't take it too badly, Mrs. Angel. You're in a lovely setting, and it's a beautiful day. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Glad to see you. Uh, as the builder said to the Tower of Pisa, let me give you a tip. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Gordon, may I present Mr. Dunbar? Uh, Mrs. Gordon's an old friend. Well, uh, don't make him any older. <laughs> You're perfectly welcome to sit in my box, oh, Mrs. Gordon. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, who's the nice lady beside you over there? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Mrs. Gordon, Mrs. Smith. Uh, how do you do? Smith? Yes. Oh, there's an unusual name. <laughs> System. Now let's oh. see which one I'm going to pick. <laughs> yes. I get. My your seat covers a Callahan's. My land you can't bet that. Oh, and I have <laughs> Gordon, why, why don't you sit down here? I think he's no, no, no. This is just fine. I'm going to try it once again. Now let me see which one I get. Oh. I beg your pardon. I'm so sorry. <laughs> here, you try it. It's the only way to pick up. Come on, try one. You might just as well forget all. Last race. She had no. 
Is this true? Since I haven't been coming. Oh, yeah. Yahoo! Oh, Yahoo! <laughs> Look, there's Mr. Gardner. Oh, I'm Miss Gordon, Miss Angel. Hello, Mr. Carter. Do you know that man? Now, why did he do that? He acted like he didn't know you. Oh, oh he knows you. me all right. Excuse me. My horse, Beauty Queen, is going in the next race. I have to see my tout. <laughs> Trainer. <laughs> Isn't he about something? <laughs> How do you know that man? <laughs> of course, he's the one who's painting our kitchen. Yes. He painted our kitchen. He's the worst professional tout at the track. Oh, there goes no. my deal with Dunbar. Oh, oh, Vicky, Vicky, uh, what looks good in the next race? Yes, 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 yes here's a tip, Vicky. <laughs> oh, see, I, I don't know. Let me get here. Let me see what do we have? Uh, Don Tito, Counselor Jacob, Candelabra, Golden Halo, Beauty Golden Queen. Halo. Golden Halo, and your name is Angel. Oh, that's good enough for me. Come on, oh, oh, Vicky. Oh, God. Go ahead, honey. Bet anything you want. We can use the money. <laughs> All right, come on. Hurry up, Vicky. Uh, hurry up, Vicky. Come on. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> a smoke-filled room. <laughs> now I get the pitch. You lead me on, and then you cut the string. What? You hear him? We follow you through six races, and you wipe us out. Now you listen to me. I've had just about enough trouble for one day without you showing up. And I've won six races on hunches. Mr. Dunbar had nothing to do with it. Hunches? Hunches. Ain't you hunches? <laughs> I don't know about you, but she's embarrassing me. People like you who spoil for nice people like Mrs. Gordon and, and Mrs. Smith and, and Mr. Dunbar. And if I did cut your string, I'm glad. And not only that, the kitchen still isn't the color I wanted. All right. All right, all right. Take it easy. Take it. What you... Oh, 6 11 to cop. Come on. Oh, Mr. Dunbar. Oh, Mr. Dunbar, I'm so sorry. Mrs. Angel, you've done something I've wanted to do all of my life. And the very next time I see a tout, I'm going to tell him off at the top of my lungs. Oh, well, that's all right for you to do. You know all about horses, but I don't know... Now, what wait a minute, mean. Mrs. Angel. Do you have any idea what the horse I bet on in the last race? Well, naturally, beauty queen on a horse. No. No? <laughs> no. Number 10. For the first time in the history of racing, an owner was touted off his own horse. Oh. <laughs> that kills me. Now, what do you have for the last race, Mrs. Angel? <laughs> well, <laughs> you sure? Uh, Ethel Lawrence, roller skater, oh. Julius. <laughs> There's no doubt about this one. Loud lady. You <laughs> are... Oh. Why not? Mrs. Gordon, Mrs. Smith, we picked our horse for the eighth race. Oh, good. And you can tell Gus for me that his loud lady is already paid off. Come along, Mrs. Gordon, Mrs. Smith. Wait, 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 Gordon. Oh. Oh. oh, Gus, I've got to... Don't apologize, Vicky. I've been doing a lot of thinking, and we're going to have fun. Dunbar or no Dunbar? Who'd you pick in the next race? 
Lucky Vicky. They're actually a lucky Vicky? Oh, there certainly is. <laughs> Got a date with an angel, going to meet her at seven. Got a date with an angel, and I'm on my way to heaven. Ladies and gentlemen, your Plymouth dealer invites you to watch the Lawrence Welk program Top Tunes and You Tell It on this same network. Tom Kennedy speaking. Good night, everybody.